Today, Peppa and her family are making special Halloween treats. Ah. These monster eyes are tasty. Why don't you two decorate these cupcakes while I finish making dinner? Hooray! Splendid! Here you are. Daddy Pig is making the icing for Peppa and George to decorate the cupcakes. The colours are changing. Magic! <laughs> Halloween magic! <laughs> it's not magic, I'm afraid. Just some fruit colouring. Oh, will it still taste good? Fruit colouring only changes the colour. Everything else is still... <gasps> Delicious! Mm. Delicious! <laughs> Peppa is making a spooky pumpkin cupcake while George makes a green dinosaur. Hello, George. I'm a spooky pumpkin cake. <laughs> Peppa and George have finished decorating all the cupcakes. Mm. Now, we're almost ready to eat. I just need to get Mummy Pig from the garden. Mmm! I love spaghetti and garlic bread. Hmm. All the extra fruit colouring has given Pepper an idea. Should we do a special Halloween trick on Mummy and Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are using the fruit colouring to make green spaghetti and purple garlic bread. <laughs> Goodness, what happened to dinner? <gasps> <gasps> ah, you've added fruit colouring. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig has his own idea for a Halloween trick and treat. <laughs> Spaghetti is green, <gasps> and the bread is purple. Ho, 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 ho. Yes, it's a Halloween trick. But it's just fruit colouring, so the food is still all yummy. Yummy tweet! <laughs> <laughs> a Halloween trick. Brilliant. You really got me. <gasps> and you used fruit colouring to turn my water orange too. <laughs> No, Mummy. That's just orange juice. Oh. <laughs> Peppa loves Halloween tricks almost as much as she loves Halloween treats. Today, Peppa and her family are in the fancy dress shop. They're looking for a Halloween costume. I hope we haven't left it too late to find a costume. Next, oh. please. <laughs> Can I have a spooky vampire costume, please, Miss Rabbit? Sorry, Peppa. Mm. I'm afraid we've just sold our last vampire costume. <gasps> oh. Uh, not to worry, Peppa. We'll find a different costume that's just as good. Right, Miss Rabbit? Uh, of course. Let's go and look. <laughs> Peppa is trying on different costumes. Ta-da! She tries a lemon. Lemons aren't as spooky as vampires. She tries a lovely flower. So lovely! It's lovely, but it isn't spooky. And even a... Whoa! Pencil. Gosh, hmm. how unusual. <laughs> Do you have any oh. spooky costumes left, Miss Rabbit? <gasps> I'm afraid we're all sold out. But we oh. do have some spooky bits of costume left over. Maybe you can make <gasps> a brand new monster, Pepper. Yes, let's go. Yay! Oh. <laughs> Peppa and George are looking for things to oh. make a spooky costume. What about these monster keys? <laughs> now my teeth are spooky. Look, Peppa, bat wings. <gasps> Very spooky. 
<gasps> Dinosaur tails are very spooky, oh. George. <laughs> Spooky hats, spooky face paint, spooky spider web. <laughs> oh. Why don't we try these on? <laughs> Peppa is trying on her brand new <laughs> monster costume. Rawr! <gasps> <laughs> My word, that's the scariest costume I've ever seen. It's perfect. Peppa feels very spooky in her Halloween costume. <laughs> Peppa loves making spooky monster costumes. But Mummy and Daddy think the price. It is Halloween night, and everyone is busy decorating pumpkins. There has been a power cut which has made all the lights in the house turn off. Oh dear, there must be something wrong with the electricity. Don't worry, I'll get the torches. <laughs> oh my! Mummy Pig has found the torches. Here we go. Now we can all see. <laughs> but I'm afraid the pumpkins will have to wait until we fix the electricity. I know. We can look for ghosts in the dark. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm a bit scared of ghosts. Can I keep my eyes shut? OK, I'll help you get around. Ghosts! <laughs> George wants to look for ghosts too. Sorry, George. You're too little. Huh? It will be too scary for mm -hmm. you. Now, follow me. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are looking for ghosts in the very spooky living room. Ooh. <gasps> it's a ghost! <laughs> it's not a ghost. It's just Gerald. Sorry, Peppa. I can't see with my eyes shut. <laughs> <laughs> This is the spookiest room in the house. Now everyone is looking for ghosts in Peppa's bedroom. Ghost! <gasps> the ghost is not a ghost. It is George in a blanket and he wants to help look for ghosts too. OK, George, you can come with us. But it will be very spooky in the hallway. <gasps> no! George doesn't think it will be spooky at all. <laughs> oh, oh. It's extra, extra dark here. It's dark everywhere. Huh? Oh, dear. Peppa's <gasps> torch has gone out. It's too dark! Now, now, there's nothing to be frightened of. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> the lights are back on, but now oh. there is a big mess. Oh. It was just a fuse. Oh, what happened? Uh, I think we must have a ghost. Peppa and her friends love looking for ghosts, but they love decorating pumpkins even more. Today, Peppa and Susie are playing in the treehouse. Oh, hello, Susie. Do come along in. How awfully, terribly kind. They're pretending to be grown-ups. We should have a big, delicious cuppa. Gosh, we are having lots of weather, aren't we? <gasps> Someone is at the door. Sorry to interrupt. Your oh. mummy is here to take you home, Susie. Aww. But we were going to have a tea party like grown-ups. Can we have a sleepover in the treehouse, Grandpa? Please? Oh, 
Um... Of course <laughs> you can. You and Susie can sleep in the treehouse, and Grandpa Pig and I will camp out here to look after you. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa and Susie are Yay! very excited to have a sleepover in the treehouse. Here are your sleeping oh. bags, <laughs> pillows, <laughs> lots of cuddly toys, <laughs> and the best bit, a special starry lantern. Wow! wow. Ta-da! Hmm? All finished. Oh. Huh. Suppose I don't need these. Grandpa Pig is excited to sleep in the tent Whoa. too. Whoa! Ah, or perhaps I do. Once he has rebuilt it. <gasps> <laughs> it is bedtime now, so Granny and hmm. Grandpa Pig are going to their tent. Good night, you two. We're just here if you need us. <laughs> <gasps> Look, Susie. My shadow is really big. Ooh. <laughs> Mine is a bird. Tweet, tweet. And mine is a butterfly. It's really loud. Granny Pig, we need you. Huh? Oh. Is everything okay? There was a really loud noise. Gosh. My goodness! Is it a monster? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> no monsters here. Just Grandpa <gasps> Pig snoring. Oh! <laughs> Peppa and Susie love sleeping oh. in the treehouse. What's all what's all this then? Oh dear. <laughs> Even with Grandpa Pig snoring next door. We are the very excellent heroes. Today, Peppa and her friends are being super powered heroes at the park. Watch out, evildoers. <laughs> I'm super strong, Daisy. Hi. Yeah. I'm Peppa, the flying pig. <sighs> Ta da! I'm Mega Pedro. I control the wind. Whoosh! <gasps> and I'm Super Daddy, the fastest in the world. <gasps> wow, I feel safer already. <gasps> Sounds like someone needs our help. Very excellent heroes away! Peppa and her friends are imagining they have superpowers. Please. Ducks are stuck in the lake. Wind power to the rescue! <gasps> You're safe now, ducks. Oh no! Someone is trapped inside this cave. Well done, super strong Susie. Now Peppa is imagining George's ball is stuck in a very tall tree. Don't worry, George. I'll save your football. Wow. <laughs> Here you go. Strawberry for you. Enjoy your ice cream. Oh, no. <gasps> Super Daddy to the rescue. Yay. Zoom. Zoom. My hero. Zoom. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> Come on, heroes. Aww. It's time to go home. Peppa doesn't um. want to go home yet. <laughs> oh, no! It's Baddy Pig! Oh, oh no. no! So she is pretending Daddy Pig is a super baddie. You very excellent heroes will never stop me. <laughs> we have to work together and use all our superpowers to stop him. The very excellent heroes are very excellent at working together. Come here, you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoosh! is stuck. You're too strong. Yeah. The
Bug has been saved from Baddie Pig. <laughs> I think you heroes deserve an ice cream to celebrate. I'll get them. Zoom! Peppa and her friends love playing heroes in the park, and so does Daddy Pig. <laughs> George! Tonight, George is having a sleepover with Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit. All right, everyone. Time for bed. Don't worry, Mummy. I'll make sure they all go to sleep. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Come on, then. Into your sleeping bags. Quick march. Peppa likes being in charge. Well done, Peppa. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Only joking. <gasps> you can't go to sleep yet. There's lots of fun things you have to do first. <gasps> George has never had a sleepover before. He is very excited. First, we have to have a midnight feast. Ah! Ooh. Oh, you've turned into ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I know a spooky story about ghosts. George, Richard and Edmund <laughs> love stories. This is a ghost story about a muddy puddle that wasn't muddy. Ahem. Paranormal apparitions, or ghosts as they're commonly known, do not exist. It is scientifically impossible. Edmund is a clever clogs. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Can I tell a story? Um, OK. Ahem. Once upon a time, there was a giant pig and a, a very small rabbit. Squeak, squeak, squeak! And they chased each other forever and ever. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good story. Oh, I've got another one. This one is about... George, Edmund and Richard have turned into ghosts again. <laughs> Silly George. Oh, do you know what's next? Yay! We have to stay up very late until, um, 100 o'clock. Ready? Oh. I don't think George understands sleepovers. <laughs> How's everything going, Peppa? They're fast asleep, Mummy. Well done. I think you've earned a midnight feast. Hooray! George and his friends like playing sleepover games, but they love to sleep. Today, <laughs> Peppa is dressed up for Susie Sheep's Whoa. space party <laughs> on the party bus. Another safe landing. Yay! There's lots to do on the party bus. Hello, Mrs. Alien. Have you seen Susie? I am Susie. <laughs> I'm not really an alien. But I am a robot. I'm a star. And I'm a space princess. Zip, zip, zoom. <laughs> Welcome aboard, everybody. Who's ready for a space party? Yay! 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 There's a space dance floor. Some yummy space food. Mm, hey, like space. And of course, space party games. Who wants to play Pass the Parcel in space? <laughs> <laughs> When the music stops, you can unwrap a layer of paper. Ah. Ah. It's your turn, Danny. Hooray! Oh, no! My robo pants can't <laughs> open <laughs> paper! <laughs> That's all right. There are lots of games robots can play, like Catch the Shooting Star. Are you ready? Yay! And catch! Oh, uh, oh, nearly! 
I've got it! I've got it! Oops! <laughs> <laughs> um, let's play a new game. Stick the eye on the alien! Oh, please, can I try? Let's put on a blindfold so you can't peek. And go! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I think it suits me. <laughs> Is there anything that astronauts and aliens oh. and stars yeah. and robots <laughs> and princesses can all do together? Well, if everyone straps in, we can all blast off in three... Two, one! The party bus is blasting off just like a real spaceship. Ooh, <laughs> I love flying through space. <laughs> Look, a flying saucer. Everyone loves riding the party bus. It's an alien and a robot. And is that an astronaut? Way! And everyone really <laughs> loves blasting through space. Somebody has stolen my fancy hat. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I'm Police Officer Teddy. I'm here to help. Peppa and her friends are playing cops and robbers with their toys. <laughs> wow, me! <laughs> Not me! <laughs> Aha! You took the hat, Mr Robot. You are under arrest. <gasps> no! I am taking you to jail. Oh, thank you, Officer Teddy. Teddy loves being a police officer. <laughs> um, but I don't have a toy to play with now. Oh, dear. I'll get the cars. Now all the toys are getting ready for a race. Go! <laughs> You're going too fast, Froggy. You're under a nest. <gasps> beep, beep, beep. But Froggy was winning the race. Now, Susie's owl is having a tea party. Here is your tea, sir. With George's <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> hello, hello. That tea is too hot. You're under a vest. But I don't like jail. And now George's dinosaur is playing all on his own. Hello, hello. You're too messy, you are. You're under a guest. Oh, are you sure? That was fun. What shall we play next? Huh? Where are your toys? Oh, oh dear. Peppa's friends aren't very happy. We didn't mean to upset everyone. Me and Teddy just wanted to help. Maybe we should go to jail. Or maybe no one goes to jail and you and Officer Teddy just help everyone. <laughs> like how real police officers help people every day. Good idea, Mummy! Oh, yeah. Officer Teddy is here to help. Officer Teddy is helping everybody stay safe while they race their cars. On your marks, get set, be very careful. Go! <laughs> Enjoy their tea parties. Would you care for more tea, Froggy? No, it's not too hot. Thank you, Officer Teddy. And of course, try on lots of flowery hats. It is bedtime, but George isn't sleeping, so neither are Peppa or Daddy Pig. What now? We've already read every bedtime story. There is one book we haven't read. I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep? 
Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Oh! <laughs> Dobby! Once upon a time, there was a hero named... Super Peppa! <laughs> um, yes, Super Peppa. Whee! She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. Uh -oh. <laughs> Until one day she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping <laughs> giant. Oh, yes, George, the jumping dinosaur. Super Pepper tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Like asking him very politely? Yes. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Mr. Dinosaur, sir. Excuse me. They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. <sighs> But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. She tried giving him cozy pajamas. She even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five. Everything we did. There's nothing left to try. <sighs> the bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Peppa. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish <sighs> the story? Today, Peppa and her family are at the museum, learning about dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. That's just how dinosaurs say hello. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> say, do you want to meet a real dinosaur? Our new time travel room can take us back in time to when dinosaurs lived so we can meet them. Dinosaur! 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 I think that's a yes please, Miss Rabbit. Yay! The time travel room takes you back into the past when dinosaurs were still alive. Wow! wow. <laughs> OK, we do need to make sure we time travel safely today, OK? So hands and feet inside the time machine at all times. Oops. <laughs> if you want to see closer, use these special time binoculars. And whatever you do, do not step on a butterfly. Why would anyone want to step on a butterfly, Miss Rabbit? You'd be surprised, Peppa. <gasps> anyway. Off we go! Miss Rabbit's time machine is taking everyone back to when dinosaurs were alive a long, long time ago. And that should be enough. <laughs> it worked! Whoa. Of course it did. There is lots to see in the dinosaur jungle. <laughs> Look, a volcano! Wow! And lots of flying pterodactyls! So pretty! <laughs> but there is only one thing George really wants to see. <laughs> dinosaur! Dinosaur! Oh, he'll be along. But remember, real dinosaurs were a bit bigger than this one, George. Speaking of which... <laughs> oh dear, the dinosaur is a bit scarier than George expected. Pause. Sorry, George. My dinosaur friend didn't mean to be scary. That's just how dinosaurs say hello, remember? Maybe we should roar back and say hello too. Then he'll know we're friendly. 
And the good thing with time travel is we can all try things again. Ready to give it another go, George? <laughs> Here we go then. Ready, George? One, two, three. Hurrah! You did it, George! George is very happy that Pepper helped him feel brave. <laughs> oh, you want to go again? Oh, all right then. And George is really happy that he got to meet a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>